Okay, so I'm going to tie the, the more gold shrimp. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is uni thread 80 in red. The hook and the vise is a size 10 Partridge Patriot double. So I'm just going to come in and get my thread started behind the other hook. I'm just going to knock on a few turns and remove the, the waist tag. Now the tag on the fly is going to be a gold tinsel. And this is just a, an oval gold tinsel and small that I'm using for the tag. Right. Just get this tied in underneath the hook. Now I can bring my tinsel underneath the hook and I'm just going to run my thread down tying in the tinsel. Right. I'm just going to bring my thread down slightly past the, the point of the hook. I want to take four turns of the oval gold tinsel to create the tag. On my fifth turn, I'm just going to bring it up and in between the the two hooks, and then I'll just take a couple of turns in to secure the the oval silver tinsel off and just trim away the excess. Now the tail on the fly is a golden pheasant red brass feather. Now the rest of this feather is fine; the tip's just slightly damaged. That's okay. Sort that out. Tie that in. I'm rolling with that. So I'm just going to come up a couple of turns to catch the tip in. Just fold the tip back. A couple of turns back up over the tip. Right. Just keep the whole your tip. You can come in and just remove the excess. And you're just looking to fold the feather back. And then just take one turn in front of the other. I don't worry about twists. What can sort out at the second? So I'm going to bring my thread back into position. Holding the stem, just going to follow it around. Got a couple of nice tight turns in there. Now, see any feathers there? I want them back. So just fold them back. Now, I'm just going to tie this in underneath the shank. Of the hook, you keep your thread tight, and I'll break away. And I'll just come in with my brush, just brush this out. Now, the body on the fly is a is an oval gold tinsel, and I'm just going to use a thicker one. This is a Van Yards French tinsel in 15. Just want to try and beef the body up a bit instead of using the small. We can use the small, we've got small tinsel, use it. Do, do the same job. Right, I'm going to tie this in underneath. I'm going to bring my thread down. Tag in the tinsel for the body. I'm going to bring it right up against, tied up against the tail. And then I'm going to bring my thread back up again. Just going to try and keep the body as smooth as possible. And then you can bring up your oval gold tinsel. And you want your turns touching. So there, keep a hold of your tinsel. Follow it around with your thread. One turn to hold. Two turns will secure that in for you. And you can trim away the axis. Then haggle orange cock haggle so just picking a haggle off the cape here just gonna stroke these fibers back to reveal the tip I'm just gonna a couple of turns to tie in the tip I'm gonna fold back the tip a couple of turns back up over at the shear secure the tip and the haggle and then you can just come in and remove that now to help you fold the haggle just use your scissors. I'm looking three turns of the haggle, depending on the quality of the fibers. It's on the feather. So, I'm 
those two full turns there. I'm going to put another one in to there. And I'm just going to hold the, the feather, fly it around with my thread. I'm just getting tight turns into the stem here. Nice and tight, you hold your thread. You can break away the remainder of the haggle. I think it's going forward, strip it back. Right, much like we did with the rear body, I'm just going to bring my thread up. Because the rear body is oval gold pencil as well. So I'm just going to get the length that we used for the rear body. And I'm just going to tie this in underneath. And then just run your thread down, tying in your gold tinsel to there. And just bring your thread back up again. Just try and keep your body as neat as possible. And then just bring your gold tinsel up. Touch and turns the same way we did for the rear body. Okay, to there, just fly it around with your thread and then just come in nice tight turns and just trim away the excess. Now, at this point, you can put in your jungle cock and then your haggle, but I'm going to put the haggle on first. I believe that's the way the original pattern was tied the jungle cock first, then the haggle. I'm just going to put the haggle on first and it's this nice dark red game haggle that I'm using so I'm just going to stroke back the, the fibers to reveal the tip yeah I'm just going to come around a couple of turns to catch the tip and fold the tip back a couple of turns back up over the top just come in remove the tip all right just come in with my scissors just going to stroke the haggle fibers back. Turns the haggle up to you. Depends on how the quality of the the fiber that's on the that's on the feather. All right. Coming into a third turn here. I'm just having a wee look. Probably put another one in that's just not thick enough for me to there now I'm just going to file it down with my thread get one turn to hold two turns to three turns two or three turns to secure I'm just going to fold everything back at this point just fold it all back and I'm going to just take turns of thread up over the top the secure in the haggle. Now keep your thread tight, you can break that away. We'll just come in with a brace here and just give it a wee brace out. The favour sitting nice. Now, just let me get the jungle cock. Pattern requires jungle cock, so let me see if I can get two nice eyes here. Get these leveled up in my hand. You're just seeing the undersides of the, the eye, the, the eye. So I'm just gonna take back the fibers just to get a tan in point for myself. And I'll offer these up to the hook. Right, I'll just come around with a few loose turns just to hold them in place. And I'm just gonna see where you are. Okay, happy enough for that. So I'm just going to come in with tight turns now. Tying in the stems of the jungle cock. And then I'm going to fold them back. Just fold everything back. And just come up over the top of the, 
stems of the jungle cactus here, thread turns nice and tight. So make for a nice strong fly. Get a few salmon out of this. Right, just hold your thread tight. Just come in and break away the stems of the jungle cock. Keep your thread tight. You can come in with your whip finishing tool and just throw in a whip finish. Now, if you wanted to brighten the head up, you could always come in with glow bright floss number number three. That's it there. I'll just show you. So this is just a red as well, so just tie the, the floss and up over the top of the the head. Just trim away this wee excess. And then just bring your low bright floss up. And then you can come in with your whip finishing tool again. And you can just whip finish the way back down. So just tidy everything up, add a wee bit to it. Just put the thread tight, or the low bright floss tight. And then you can come in and trim away. Now, first coat I put on super glue. So, just a wee dab of super glue on the head. This will just seal everything up. And then, when that's finished, I'll just come in and add a couple of coats of varnish. So Luke, that's the that's the morning gold shrimp. Give it a go and hopefully you can catch you a few fish.